Hey guys, you in here and welcome to the first video that I will post on my YouTube channel. So as you can see, we're playing one of Hypixel's most popular games. It is, of course, Skyblock. So today we're not gonna do any kind of grinding. We're just gonna discuss some strategies. And also this is probably gonna be very cringy. So put on your cringe masks and let's get straight into the video. So first, as you can see, we're by the map. When you spawn, you're probably like gonna be right over here by this unstable, um, oh, okay. but. Basically, what you wanna do is gonna punch some wheat. Just maybe get like a rookie hoe right here, 10 coins, pretty good for a starter. And you're just gonna, tr you're just gonna want to punch wheat. You're gonna probably get like a couple of thousand coins an hour, which is actually a lot for some newbie players or new players. Sorry if I insulted you, new players, but. Anyways, after you get some thousands of dollars, you're gonna want to go to the, the auction house and just buy yourself, just type a uh, lapis like this. Then you'll just go armor and just buy yourself some lapis armor. As you can see, right now we don't actually have lapis pants or lapis boots. So just buy like some lapis armor, how much for the cheapest price. and. Then you're gonna want to then you're gonna want to mine. So you're gonna go over here. You're not gonna start off with this young dragon armor. You're just gonna you probably won't be this fast. Just go over here and uh, just mine some coal for like like a couple of like for like 30 minutes and you'll unlock the gold mine. After you travel to gold mine, you're gonna want to uh, get mining seven. Yes, mining seven. That's actually not a lot. I don't know why I just said that. But you're just gonna want to go here and just get mining seven. Just mine some ores, like mine some ores. Yeah, and after you get mining seven, you want to go to the deep caverns. Well, this is a choice you can choose. You can either go to deep caverns, kill some lapis zombies, and well, just get lapis armor, or you can choose to go over here, and then you can get a uh, wait. Oh, wait, wait, so you're gonna go to, you're gonna type this command slash hub and then it's gonna teleport you here. Wait, oh well, sometimes bugs and goes to like the hub version of where you last launched off. But then you're gonna want to go over here and you wanna go to go over here if you choose this way and just click on this guy. He's called the Bazaar, I think. But basically, you wanna click on this guy and he, he's gonna basically be your big money guy. So after you get unlock this guy, which it's gonna say in chat the requirements, it's gonna say like requ requirements like farming seven, mining seven, and like one other um, skill seven. But after you get this guy, you're gonna, well, you're gonna start off, wait. Actually, you're gonna start off on your island and there's gonna be a giant like dirt pile here You're gonna punch some wood and then just bridge to this multiplayer world But then you're gonna like you're gonna just basically uh, Basically once you travel to your island just set up if you choose the um, Deep caverns make sure you craft like get some gold because then you'll be able to craft gold minions, which is the best um, method for you to earn money right now. And probably mine some gold, just craft enchanted gold. But basically you're gonna want to do that and then just, you're gonna just put like, like um, go put that on your island and let it sit. And then you're gonna want farm to unlock bazaar and then after that you should have a couple of thousand from punching wheat 
you should go to this I can't say it I don't know how to say it but you're gonna click here on the enchanting table it's gonna be like enchanted you're gonna click on this and then click on compactor as you can see they're really cheap right now only 3k should at least have like 10k from your punching wheat session but basically after you buy this just put it in your uh, let's see I'll just put an example you also want an auto smelter because the compactor won't work without an auto sm smelter. As you can see, these are my old gold minions, so you're gonna want to do. Let's just grab one of these. I'm I'm gonna show you how to set it up. So you're gonna want to place him somewhere by a five by five, and you're just gonna want him to place it down in the center, and then you want to put the uh, auto smelter on top and the compactor on, on the bottom and that should mean that he wait let's check some oh no no i mean the compactor on top and the auto smelter on the bottom so those are gonna be how you set up your gold minions and i can just pick this guy back up nope you're not gonna you're, you're not gonna generate gold okay we don't want you to generate gold so I should listen to the pattern but no so after you get gold minions and then just auto smelter and then a um, compactor you should be set for like for like a couple like an hour or so and then you're gonna want to uh, definitely clear them out and just upgrade them because the more you upgrade the um, the more you get but don't upgrade them after um tier 7 because that won't be worth it like right now if you have like a lot of money like i used to have then just upgrade them to level like 11 as you can see these snow minions are the best way to get money but as you can see that's 11 in rome not numerals this is also a learning channel, yay. <laughs> but anyways, you you want to upgrade these guys to level 11 cuz they're cuz they're going to make that their money back in like a day or so if you put a super compactor and diamond spreading and enchanted lava bucket. You don't need the gingerbread man skin, but I just like it, so I'm going to put it in my snow minions, but basically you're going to want that and then these guys pay back their money in like a week or so because I spent like a hundred and fifty thousand dollars to max this guy out and he's already made that money back. Maybe even less, I don't know, but basically you're af after you got like at least a hundred K, which is still like early game you might be like wow you might be like wow 100k that's like super much i don't think that was correct grammar but anyways you're gonna want to get some clay minions you can just buy them for like tier one is like 15k you want to only buy one and then just plop that guy down on somewhere on your island as you can see this is my minion platform but you want to plop your um, guy down and then just he'll start producing clay and don't sell his clay because this guy is very expensive to max but I don't know why this guy is very expensive to max even though snow minions are better also at, so this guy well you're gonna want to do the same setup but don't put auto smelter just put Wait, wait, no, don't put compactor or just anything in this guy because don't put diamond spreading because it'll fill up too fast. I left this guy running for like, like five hours and this guy's already full. So yeah, don't put anything that will clog up his storage. Also, you might want to put minion chest. This is a small version because I'm poor now. I can't, I don't, I don't have enough money to buy the medium version. But anyways, you're gonna want these clay minions and you're gonna be set for a long time. Also, after you you get these clay minions, you're gonna want to check your calendar, as you can see, and then just check, check which is the nearest uh, Jerry event. I mean, 
season of Jerry. It's gonna be in 18 hours, which is like at like 8 a 8, 8 a.m. Which I'm probably not gonna be there. But anyways, if you see that it's in your habit, like you can go like to the Jerry event at that time. It's probably gonna be like. 10 hours and then the jerry event festival starts where magma cubes attack but you want to get as much presents as possible also um that fun fact you can only get um when you deal over 100 damage on each round you can you get max presents so after you deal 100 damage just sit back and chill okay don't do any more damage your teammates will probably scold you but don't do any more damage because it's a waste of your money because you can only damage the magma cubes with um, Frosty the Snow Cannon or Flo Frosty the Snow Blaster. Yeah, and then basically you want to open the presents at spawn or something and then you can get these guys. Also, you want to make a like a bit of a small sugar cane farm not as big as this one which I'm still working on but you want to build a small sugar cane farm and a small pumpkin farm cuz it I'll show um cuz as you can see uh if you go to collection and then farming and then you you buy this from the bazaar it'll give you seeds but basically if you do this and then you check level 9 which is farmer boots as you can see, it's not that hard to make. I mean, it's kind of hard, but not that hard to make. These these um, boots go for around 150K to like 200K. So you're gonna want, that's a good profiting method. But basically what you wanna do is gonna get um, get the, the sugarcane farm and the pumpkin farm and then save up for strong dragon armor. You can go for young, but make sure you get like aspect of the end or aspect of dragons, which you're probably not gonna get because it's like 1.5 mil. I bought this for cheap. I bought this for like 1.1 mil. Now they're around like 1.3 to 1.5 mil. So you're gonna type in strong dragon, and you're just gonna type. And click done and then do I suggest buy it now auction because they're like quick and you can get them for pretty cheap so you can see this one it's max hot potato book only for 550k if you don't have enough money uh, also you're actually gonna want to get aspect of the end and if you don't have that much money I suggest you go for unstable dragon armor because that also also increases your um crit chance and crit damage and it's way cheaper but it's like not even it's not as good as uh strong so after you get those you want to get combat 12 which you probably had because you're gonna battle some cripples to get um to get xp to enchant your stuff also if you want to know where the crypt goals are they're over here you go to the graveyard and you go over here as you can see that giant cave you go down there and that's where the crypt goals are after you get like combat 12 or something you can in my opinion, Raider's Axe is better than Aspect of the End, but Raider's Axe is like way more expensive than Aspect of the End. And also, you're gonna need like a magical water bucket, which is like pretty expensive if you, if you do buy it now. Well, there's no buy it now. As soon as there is a buy it now, it just absolute it's absolutely bought. Well, after you want to do that, uh, you're gonna want to go to the Viking, which I forgot where it is, but somewhere in like the Spruce Park or something. But after you get that, you're gonna want to wait. I should show you the correct way. Okay, let me not use the portal I built. So you will want wait. So you will want to go to the graveyard again. 
can use Young Dragon Armor if you think this is too slow. Well, I am in Young Dragon Armor, but it doesn't increase your crit chance or crit damage. So I suggest Strong Dragon Armor, but I mean Strong Dragon Armor and Unstable. But if you, uh, if you, if you like aspect of the end and your crit um damage is like crit crit damage is like really high then you want to travel to spider's den which is in the um in the graveyard and then you want to uh wait what i have no idea what just happened the game probably glitched oh uh, wait i'm dumb why did i just go back to the graveyard let's go to the spider's den again so after you go to the spiders, then you want to just run this path. The easiest way to the end is following this path. And, and yeah, following this path. And then as you can see, that's the blazing fortress. Don't go there. Retrace your steps on this path. And then when you see this big structure, go like over here. Also, I'm sorry for the uh, flashing. It might hurt your eyes, but it's my... Uh, uh, this, where is it? Oh, it's just night vision talisman or something. Night charm, yeah. Night charm, also you wanna get every talisman in the game and then you can just grind zealots. Zealots are the stronger version of endermen. So you're gonna want to go on this path. If you can't cross over here, go over here. I'm gonna want to jump over here. There might be some slimes. Just kill them, which is probably gonna be very easy for you because you got uh, aspect of the end. Wait, wait. <laughs> kind of got distracted. Where is the end? Well, let's see. Where is the end? Is that the end? Oh wait, that's not the end. That's the blazing fortress, huh? Where's the end? I can't. <laughs> well, I'm forgot the end because I didn't use the um uh the thing the uh portal oh it's right here so let's see let's retrace your steps so you're gonna want to go over here want to go over here go over here and then the spider boss is summoning but since i'm recording a video i can't participate which is kind of sad but you just want to follow this path and then it's gonna go over here uh and then yeah it's you're just so you're gonna this portal's right there so you're just gonna this is gonna have to uh have to go to the end you're just gonna go over here and then there's gonna probably be some s spiders but you're gonna wait you're gonna go over here follow along the path I mean, wait, huh? I, I lost the end again. <laughs> Why am I so dumb? But wait, yeah, 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 you wanna, you wanna, the spider's den is right over, can you stop annoying spider? But you, the spider's den portal's right over here. You wanna go over here, over here, and then you wanna go over here. You wanna cross, wait. Hmm? Wait, what? Oh yeah, and then you wanna go over here and then go up the stairs and then you're at the end. So after you go to the end, this is kind of entering mid game now. So what you wanna do in the end, you can just race the dragon race over there, which is pretty hard. I haven't got the max talisman, but I just, I don't have it, but I'm gonna buy it soon, but you're just gonna have Oh yeah, you're also going to want to have feather falling on your boots and a grappling hook to take less damage. Grappling hooks sell for like 6k, not that much, but you're going to want to jump down here and then use grappling hook to reduce your uh, damage. So right here and then you want to go over here. Then also it's kind of hard to navigate without the uh, night charm, but you will get it. It goes... You will get it soon, it's pretty easy. And then you just wanna go over here and then there's the dragon's den. After you go to the dragon's den, you wanna kill, these guys are really annoying, but 
you want to basically, uh, you want to have a griffin because that will really help you. This guy sells for like 600k, which is probably out of your, um, bank account. But basically, you want to kill these endermen called... That guy just stole that Enderman from me. But basically, you wanna. Let's see if I can find one. Why do you. Do? Yeah, these guys called Zealots. Don't fight the Runics. Runics are hard. But fight the normal ones, like that one. This guy is mad at me for staring at him. But you wanna fight them, and then you can just basically get a, a summoning eye, which sells for about. Uh, which sells for about, oof, I might die. No, this was a bad idea. No, 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 okay, let's eat a cat. Where's my god apples? Okay, so what you wanna do is just buy Aspect of the End and get your crit damage and crit chance up with the strong dragon armor, but and then you can just one-shot Zealots, which is gonna be really good, and also, these obsidian defenders are really annoying, so don't fight them. They're just going to waste your time. But basically, uh, also you need like uh, combat 16 to wear every single um, set of dragon armor, except for um, superior, superior, you need combat 20 and legendary aspect of the end. I mean, aspect of the dragons needs, uh, let's see, uh, combat, um, com combat 618, I think. I don't, I don't remember. I bought this sword, like, a long time ago. But anyways, that's it for this episode of how to start making money, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Also, next episode is not gonna be how to get money. We're just gonna... I'm gonna improve my base and we're gonna do a time lapse which is probably gonna shorten the video in a long time but that's it for today's video tomorrow's video will launch soon bye bye guys